Hello everybody. My name is Eric D. Johnson. I'm from my branch on the right in the city of Memphis in the county of State of Tennessee. The day and date is early Monday morning, May the 10th, 2021. The time, 4 1 a.m. First thing, thanking all my family, my support, for the continued courage for me, continue to keep myself employed right in the Memphis Tri-State here. I'll continue to further my education more work out on 910. So much so to be sent being in the straight country market. It's been time to take a break from school. In the very near future, I'm really going back to my work. I was online and continue to pursue my soul's beast that being in a straight country market. Now, <clears throat> anti gang, anti gang, see, the United States Department of Justice, anti gang, anti hate, those are taxpayer dollars. And see, the sorority and the fraternity, the soul and the frat bitch. You be lying. You go around trying to negatively influence other people families by trying to claim you uh, uh you got family uh, uh you, you you got uh freedom of expression you got freedom of speech you got freedom of yeah no that's not the only rights i have i have a right to defend myself i have a right to bear arms <coughs> These are just a few of the free logo design websites you go to to make anti-gang logo. Now remember these words, coercion, coerced, sexual coercion, psychological coercion, psychological manipulation, psychological abuse. Behavioral sciences, <coughs> true. Behavioral sciences and social sciences are interrelated. You see, uh, behavioral science you have two broad categories: neural information and social, <coughs> and relational sciences. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the Almighty Vice Lord, Four Corner Hustle. The Almighty Black Princeton, the Almighty Black Disciple, Poppin', the Almighty Mickey Coburn, Crackin', now the Blue Fin Black Disciple, Black Disciple, the Lord Stone Disciple, G Killers, who the G? Black Gangster Lou Reed, Gangster Disciple, Insane Gangster Disciple. Look, you ain't, you ain't, uh, all that G stuff, you know, you, you all got to get out of Chicago. All that line, see, you can't stand on a lie. <clears throat> you can't stand on a lie. See, you can't go around trying to pretend like you you are uh, trying to depend on a sorority and return. And then go around lying about uh, esotericism and Western esotericism and Western mystery tradition. You ain't going to get away with it. They don't never get away. And then talking about some Gnosticism and then talking about some Neoplatonism and the Rosicrucians and the Freemasons and Theosophical Society and Anthroposophy and Wicca and the occult and, and all this other stuff you try to you try to lie. See all you're doing is just trying to hide in a crowd. Five billion plus people on God's green earth and you try to hide in a crowd. They don't never get away with it. Never. You will never get away. Never. Get out of Chicago in the surrounding state. Get out of Iowa. Get out of Missouri. Get out of Kentucky. You cannot be in Wisconsin. You can't be in Minnesota. You can't be in Michigan. Just, just get out of it. You will never get away with lying. You can't stand on a lie. It's all your food. Straight to the point. You can't stand on a lie. You've been lying the whole time. <clears throat> True. You've been lying the whole time. You don't never get away. No. You don't never get away. No. You can't stand on a lie. You can't. You, you can't. You know, and then, talking about uh, the folks that are my people. 
See, you can't stand on a lie, man. See, the black disciple, King David Bardell, the Lord's stone disciple. Yeah, with Pepper Lowe Berry, the Lord's. Chief Malik, Jeff Ford, the stones, the disciples, the black disciples. King David Bardell. You can't stand on a lie. You can't stand on a lie. And all these folks and my people, you can't stand on a lie. See, you're not, you're not folks. See, you, you, you can't disrespect people by lying. And then think they're going to acknowledge you and, re and recognize you. It don't go that way, man. It don't go that way. When you, when you disrespect like that, no. You, you're not affiliated. You're not associated with the folks in my people. You're just a bunch of dudes just, just, just going around trying, trying to impose yourself on other people. You don't never get away with it. You know, never get away. No. You got to get out of Chicago and you got to get out of the state of Illinois. You can't be, man, you, you can't be nowhere in Indianapolis. In, 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 in Indiana. It just ain't going to happen, man. Right? You can't stand up. You know, I'm telling you, you can't stand up. It's too much animosity. It's too much animosity. Ain't no way. You ain't going to make it. Uh, I'm not just sitting here saying, uh, I'm telling you. It, you think that I'm not the only person mad. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's, it's people in the Illinois State Penitentiary. Mad as hell about this line. Talking about some Gnosticism and esotericism, Western esotericism. There's no such thing no Western mystery today. See, that's the reason why I've been doing the things I've been doing to make it perfectly clear. You've been lying the whole time. You've been lying the whole time. Trying to depend on the sorority of eternity. You don't never get away with it. You don't never get away with lying. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Never get away. <clears throat> that seems like I've been saying, see, talking about some esotericism, see, that's not what esotericism means, and esoteric and exoteric, Pythagoras call all those in his inner circle of initiates esoteric. But there is called all those outside of his inner inner circle of initiates exoteric. Aristotle had a meeting. And all those who came to his early meeting, his early lectures, he called them his ex esoteric. Aristotle had a later lecture, and all those who came to his later lecture, Aristotle called them his ex exoterics. See, he ain't gonna never get away with lying. He ain't gonna never get away with lying. In the Illinois State Penitentiary, the uh, Juvenile Detention Center, he ain't gonna never get away with lying. And all this stuff about hermetism, hermetic, and, and believing that it's a, that Hermes, uh, Invented some kind of uh, airtight seal, so you gonna never get away. No. Now what time? Is it? Okay, it's the time on my phone. Ten minutes. Why it, it, it's just too much animosity. See, my dad, Chester Johnson Jr., he passed away in 2012. You know, my mother, Annabelle Johnson, <coughs> still alive. And uh, my dad, little brother, uh, Lemia Johnson, lived right here in the city of Memphis. And, and was living in Boxtown the whole time. Lived in Boss Town, lived in Boss Town, <clears throat> in the same house. From the time he was a little boy to the time he, he was murdered, so while I was incarcerated, uh, my dad's little brother, Lemmy Johnson, was murdered. And uh, I don't never forget 
background check, background check. And I damn sure don't take this in, in Chicago, see. My damn Chester and Remy. Oh, they had a little bro. We were really born in, in uh, uh, Arkansas, and, but lived in, in, in uh, Chicago to the day he died. Walter. And uh, Justin and Nimmy and Walter had some little sisters and brothers. And uh, little sister lived in, 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 in Chicago and the youngest brother, uh, really born and, and raised in Chicago, and uh, then another brother was living in, in Mississippi, and, uh, and then there was some other family members who were living in Chicago, and so uh, Can't compare to, uh, hermitism and narcissism and uh, 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 neoplatonism to the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is right. The Holy Bible is right and true. Hello everybody, my name is Eric D. Johnson, so I'm going to write you right in the city, maybe in the county, city, in the state, Tennessee, the day and day. It's early. <coughs> Monday morning, May the 10th, 2021, the time. Four fifteen a.m. First thing, thank all my family for work for me. For your continued encouragement and support. <laughs> Anti-gang. Anti-gang. See, the United States Department of Justice, anti-gang. See, them tax, them taxpayer dollars. It, it, see, it's important. It's, it's important that you point this out. <clears throat> see, it's not just a, a, a phrase, a, like it's a slow it down. It, it, it's, it's very serious. See, it's been crime, been committed. When you say anti-gang, see, the United States Department of Justice, they are committing taxpayer dollars 
to fight crime. Just like anti-hazing. You know, when you when you say anti-hazing on the college camp, don't you don't you see that the sorority attorney had committed murder by hazing people into you know become members of the of the sorority of attorney. That people, family members of whose uh uh, son or daughter have been literally murdered being initiated into the sorority of attorney anti-hazing is serious because the sorority of attorney have murdered have murdered people being initiated into the sorority of attorney it's serious These are just a few of the free logo design ways I can go to make anti-gang logo. Now, uh, remember these words: coercion, coerce, sexual coerce, psychological coerce, psychological manipulation, psychological abuse. sciences are interrelated with social sciences. Now there are two broad categories of behavior sciences. Neural information and social and relational sciences. Vice Lord, Four Corner Hustle, the Almighty Black Prince Storm, the Almighty Black Disciple, Poppin', the Almighty Mickey Cole, Crackin', and the Blue Fin Black Disciple, Black Disciple, Lord Stone Disciple, the Lord Evan Pippin O'Pierre, the Stone Chief Malik, Jeff Ford, the Disciple, the Black Disciple, King David Bosdale, the Lord Stone Disciple, G Kill. Who the G, the black gangster, new breed, the gangster disciple, the insane gangster disciple. We're not folk. And you most certainly ain't finna be uh, sitting around in the city of Chicago. You see, you can't stand on the lap. See, the sorority and fraternity, see, this is what I, this is what is it, 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 finna be uh, <coughs> made perfectly clear. See, you thought you could get away with lying. See, back in the 50s and the 60s, see, it was people saying the same thing that's being said now. But then, back in the 70s, and then really in the 80s, the sorority returned to try to go around and try to do the same thing. They tried to go behind people back and try to get you to listen to the lies they could tell you about esotericism, Western esotericism, Western mythic tradition. <coughs> And then Gnosticism, the Gnostics. See, you ain't gonna never get away with it. then Neoplatonism. You ain't gonna never get away with mental illness, the Rosicrucians, and the Freemasons. So you don't never get away trying to use other people, trying to, trying to uh, hide in the crowd. It's five billion plus people living on God's green earth. And you try to hide in the crowd. You don't never get away with it. You don't never get away with lying. So you can't stand on a lie. Everybody, you gotta get out of Chicago. You can't you can't be in, in, the, in the city of Chicago, in the state of Illinois, in the surrounding state, because you can't stand on a lie. See, the other folks, see, the black disciple, King David Bosdale. See when you see that six point star. See the six point star was just to, it was, was there to make make cheap is that uh, King David Bosdale. 
later on they tried to take <clears throat> they took the six point star and then started talking about some love life and loyalty and not just really understanding see and then you got the other the other folks saying they're telling you the same thing but see you're not folks see the black gangs of new breed and, and, and the gangs of the site and the insane gangs of the site see you're not folks see you can't stand on lie you can't lie and then to my people you can't disrespect some of that you, you can't disrespect ain't no way in the world that the lord and the stones and then all them all them other like the latin kings and there ain't no way in the world man and then, and then you got the almighty gay lord almighty uh stone freaks and and, and shy west and yeah, the land counts and, and look it, it just ain't gonna it, it ain't gonna happen because when i keep leaving my videos and keep exposing the lies that the sorority fraternity tried to lie you can't disrespect and when when, when people you got all these people in the illinois state penitentiary you got all these young people in the juvenile detention center in the state of illinois you can't stand on the line man you can't stand on the line ain't no way and talking about holding people back and it, it ain't no it don't go that way man it don't go that way ain't no way ain't no way see you got to get out of chicago out of the state of illinois and if you don't you're gonna die you're gonna die it's serious see it's not this is not no no game this, this is serious you can't stand on the lot you tried to lie and you ain't gonna never get away with it this <laughs> is all this too. They ain't gonna never get away with lying. Never. <coughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start out with a review. Quick review. See? See, uh, Pythagoras called all those in his inner circle of initiates esoterics. Pythagoras called all those outside of his, his outside of his inner circle of initiates exoterics. Aristotle Aristotle in his earlier meetings he called those who came to his earlier meetings his esoterics. Aristotle in his later lectures, you know, he called those who came to his later lectures his exoterics. You can't stand on a lie. I'm telling you, you ain't gonna never get away with it. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and get confirmation on the hardback dictionary. Come to esoteric, we're in a hardback, we're in a mirror, and Webster's third, we're in a dictionary, in a national dictionary. So, esoteric. See in the Mary Western Third Dictionary, 
when it comes to esoteric it's telling you that it's dealing with a small circle of people if, you know uh, designed for or understood by the specially initiated alone and when you come in there, and when you go down the, the uh, definitions it's basically saying the same thing now it doesn't say anything about Pythagoras and Aristotle in the mirror of in the international dictionary so what we're going to do now but we, we want to confirm that the definition of esoteric is, is basically saying just like a father and a son. You can be just a father and a son or a mother and daughter, not necessarily initiated because as you go down, the definition is basically saying that it's a small circle of people. So if a father and son just talking to each other and nobody else, that's esoteric. Now when you make that conversation public, it becomes exoteric. Now, let's go over here to Gnosticism. Gnosticism. And, and Gnostic now an inherent Gnosticism or of a philosophy or theology influenced by Gnosticism inherent of any of the several Gnostic sects of the second to sixth centuries A judge heretical by the early Christian church. Then Gnostic number two. Of related to or characterized by knowledge or cognition. Intellectual knowing. Then Gnostic knowing characterized by or related to such knowledge. And then you have Gnosticism. The thought and practice of any of various popes of late pre-Christian and early Christian centuries declared heretical by the church and distinguished chiefly by pretension to mystic and esoteric religious insight by emphasis on knowledge rather than faith and by the conviction that matter is evil. You see, you can't stand on the lie. You can't stand on the lie. See, when you be calm, they're talking about knowledge. And then you sit around talking about matter is evil. You trying to say yourself is evil and everything around you is evil. See, this is what you're trying to say. See, you be making up stuff as you go. This is what you be calmly doing. You just be making it up. You ain't never made no sense. You're talking about knowledge rather than faith. They don't never get away with, with lying. You know, the matter is not evil. Matter is not evil. You know, and you come out God is clumsy and all this and everything. You know, you never get away making up all these lies. <coughs> They're trying to destroy the, uh, the environment, nature and wildlife and trying to uh, 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 abuse kittens and puppies because you say matter is evil trying to pollute the uh, air ground and water trying to destroy the rainforest and leave, leave people crazy and say well, you, you, you have to expose these people for what they really are they bunch of lying criminals they be lying and then when they lie they, they try to commit all these uh, disgusting and despicable crimes against innocent men, women, children, uh, uh, the environment, nature, and wildlife. 
you know, you're, you're not gonna never get away with it. So we got confirmation in the Miriam Webster Stern in the National Dictionary. Now we got to uh, <clears throat> Hermetic, her hermetism. Now, when, when you're talking about hermetic, you're talking about uh, hermit. Hermit means tricking my gistus. The Egyptian god of wisdom, famous author of a number of mystical, philosophical, and alchemistic writings. Now, when it's uh, the Greek Hermes. Her means trigger against the literally thrice great. Hermes, with whom the Greeks identified thought. says here in, in hermetic definition of or related to the mystical and alchemical writings or teachings of thought. The Egyptian god of wisdom related to or Characterized by occultism, alchemy, magic, or whatever is obscure and mysterious. Now, also number two, hermetic. The belief that Hermes. Dream against it invented a magic seal to keep vessels airtight and permeates the air. So that's basically hermetic.
we just went into the uh, <clears throat> now we just went into the uh, Merriam-Webster's Third New International Dictionary. So now let's go to the Oxford English Dictionary. Now we're in the Oxford, we're in the Oxford English Dictionary. Esoteric. Now when it comes to esoteric, the Greek word occurs first in Lucian. Who ascribes to Aristotle a classification of his own works into exoteric, into esoteric and exoteric, recognizing such a classification, but uses only the term exoteric leaving the opposite class undesignated. Aristotle himself really used this in the sense of popular untechnical. By later, later writers, the word was employed to designate the secret doctrines said to have been taught by Pythagoras to a select few among his disciples. So, when we was reading the Miriam Webster's Third New International Dictionary, it didn't mention Pythagoras or Aristotle, but it gave you the uh, basic definition, just like it says here, to a select few. You know, a philosophical doctor's treats these modes of speech designed for or appropriate to an inner circle of advanced or privileged disciples. Communicated to or intelligible by the initiated exclusively. Hence, of disciples belonging to the inner circle, admitted to the esoteric teachings, opposite, opposed to exoteric. So, let me see here. Now it says here, okay, let me see here. Uh, the auditors of Pythagoras were of two sorts. Esoteric and esoteric. The, exo the exoteric were those who were under probation, which if they well performed, they were admitted to be esoteric. The exoteric teaching of the Thagoreans admitted fable and falsehood. The esoteric only what the teacher believed to be true.
So, <clears throat> like I said, the uh, Oxford English Dictionary, it mentions Pythagoras and Aristotle. So that's uh, basically esoteric. Let's go over here to uh, Gnosticism. Okay, Gnostic. Related to knowledge. Related to knowledge. Because first you got Gnosis and then you have Gnostic. Said, possessing esoteric spiritual knowledge. And, and also Gnostic. It says here the designation given to certain heretical sects among the early Christians who claimed to have superior knowledge of things spiritual and interpreted the sacred writings by a mystic philosophy. Then when you call it Gnosticism, the system or principle professed by the Gnostic.
that's nasty. So, um, Now it says here in the definition of Gnosticism. Gnosticism, Gnosticism is merely a generic term and included many sects that differ considerably from each other. See, you ain't have no standardized system. You couldn't even get the name right. Okay? Now let's go to Hermitism. Like I told you, you can't stand on a lie. When it comes to Hermes, in Greek mythology, a deity, the son of Zeus and Maya, represented as the messenger of the gods. The god of science and commerce, eloquence, and many of the arts of life. Commonly figured as a youth with the caduceus, caducus or rod, the tasus or brimmed hat, and telaria or winged shoes. Identified with the Romans with Mercury. A statue of Hermes equals Hermes. Hermes Trigamagistus. Hermes. To Maximus, Hermes, thrice greatest. The name given by the Neoplatonists and the devotees of mysticism and alchemy to the Egyptian god Thoth, regarded as more or less identified with the Grecian Hermes. 
and as the author, and as the author of all mysterious doctrines. And especially of the secrets of alchemy. Hermetic seal. So we, we gotta understand on this Hermes and Hermetic from the uh, Oxford English Dictionary. So now let's go online. Start out with esoteric. Real Webster's um, Third and International Dictionary Online Esoteric. Definition of esoteric. Designed for or understood by the specially initiated alone. A crime exhibiting knowledge that is restricted to a small group, limited to a small circle of special, rare, or unusual interest. Let me scroll around here now. It said, what is the opposite of esoteric? The opposite of esoteric is exoteric, which means suitable to be imparted to the public. According to one account, those who were deemed worthy to attend Aristotle's learned discussion were known as his esoterics, his confidants, while those who merely attended his popular even the lectures were called his exoterics. Since material that is geared toward a target audience is often not as easily comprehensible to outside observers, esoteric acquired an extended meaning of difficult to understand. Both esoteric and exoteric started appearing in English in the mid 1600s. Esoteric traces back to ancient Greek by way of the Latin. Esotericus, the Greek esotericos, is based on a comparative form of eso, which means within. Dictionary.com <clears throat> Now it says here, dictionary.com, thesaurus.com, uh, understood by or meant for only the select few who have special knowledge of, or interest recognized. Number two, belong to the select few. Number three, private, secret, confidential. See what I'm talking about? See, a father and his son, a mother and her daughter. Private, secret, confidential. Esoteric. Two brothers. Two sisters, brother and sister, sister and brother, so on and so forth. 
It was private. It was secret. It was confidential. Of a, of a philosophical doctrine or the like intended to be revealed only to the initiates of a group. The esoteric doctrines of Pythagoras. Dictionary.com, thesiris.com. Then you also have Cambridge Esoteric Definition in the Cambridge Engine. And you know Oxford University and Cambridge University are the, basically the same school. It was Oxford University first. Then after it was the same people from Oxford University, they started Cambridge University. Okay, so uh Cambridge University, Cambridge English Dictionary, very unusual and understood alike by only a small number of people, especially those with special knowledge. Okay. Esoteric, intended for or understood by only a few who have special knowledge. Collins Dictionary and Macmillan Dictionary, and you know they they also have a hardback dictionary. So okay, um, esotericism. Dictionary.com, Sarah.com, esotericism, the state of quality of being esoteric, esoteric principles or writings. First recorded in 1840 50, Esotericism from uh, Miriam Webster. Esoteric doctrines of, of practice in the quiet of state, the quiet of state of being esoteric. Say the first known use of esotericism was in 1846. Western esotericism, also known as esoteric, esotericism, esotericism, and sometimes the Western mystery tradition, is a term under which scholars have characterized a wide range of loosely related ideas and movements which have developed within Western society. The idea of grouping a wide range of Western tradition and philosophy together under the category that is now termed esotericism developed in Europe during the late 17th century. Various academics have debated how to define Western esotericism with a number of different options proposed. You can't even get the definition right because, like I said, when you get into the definition of esotericism, esoteric and exoteric.
the sayings here, the de based on the definition of the sayings here, the historian of esotericism, Antoine Farr, noted that never a precise term, esotericism, has begun to overflow its boundaries on all sides, with both Farr and Karen Claire Voss stating that Western esotericism consists of a vast spectrum of authors, trans works of philosophy, religion, art, literature, and music. It says here, there is broad agreement among scholars as to which currents of thought can be placed within the category of esotericism, ranging from ancient Gnosticism, Hermetism, through to Rosicrucianism and the Kabbalah, and on to more recent phenomena such as New Age movement. Nevertheless, esotericism itself remains a controversial term, with scholars specializing in the subject disagreeing as to how it can best be defined. They can't never define it. They can't never come up with a definition. Now, Britannica.com. Now, esoteric, the quality of having an inner secret meaning. So that was esoteric, sir. Okay, let's, let's, let's uh, look at this Gnostic. Okay. Dictionary.com Gnostic pertaining to knowledge, possessing knowledge, especially esoteric knowledge of spiritual matter, pertaining to a character characteristic of the Gnostics. It says also now that was the adjective. When you say Gnostic as a noun, a member of any of certain sects among the early Christians claimed to have superior knowledge of spiritual matter and explain the word is created by powers or agency arising and emanation from the God he So uh, dictionary.com, pizarro.com, Gnostic. <coughs> now let's go over here to uh, Gnosticism. In the Oxford languages, it's a noun, a prominent heretical movement of the second century Christian church, partly of pre Christian origin. Gnostic doctrine taught that the world was created and ruled by a lesser divinity, the, the demiurge, and that Christ was an emissary of the remote supreme divine being, esoteric knowledge, gnosis, of whom the name of the redemption of the human spirit. Now, what we got here? 
Merriam Webster, not Gnosticism. The thought and practice expression of various cults of late pre Christian, early Christian, said this thing is by the conviction that matter is evil and that emancipation comes from Gnosis. First known use of Gnosticism was in 1664. Now, you see the dictionary.com, sorrow.com. Now, number one, a group of ancient heresies stress and escape from this world through the acquisition of esoteric knowledge. said Gnosticism as a noun number one in religion move characterized by belief in Gnosis through which the spiritual element in man could be released from his bondage and matter regarded as a heresy by the Christian church. Let's go over the Wikipedia definition of Gnosticism. Gnosticism is a collection of religious ideas and systems which originated in the late first century, commonly among Jewish and early Christian sects. These various groups emphasize personal spiritual knowledge notion, over the orthodox teaching tradition and authority of the church. Viewing material existence as flaw or evil. Gnostic cosmogony generally presented presents a distinction between the supreme hidden God and a malevolent lesser divinity sometimes associated with the Yahweh of the Old Testament, which was formed for creating the material universe. Gnostics are considered the principal element of salvation to be direct knowledge of the supreme divinity in the form of mystical or esoteric insight. Many Gnostic texts deal not in concepts of sin and repentance, but with illusion and enlightenment. And then Gnostic writings flourished among certain Christian groups in the Mediterranean world until about the second century. See, this is what these key points, when they keep on saying Christian and saying that the Gnostics and all this Gnostic writing flourished among the Christians, that's not the church. That's not the church. You know, we're not talking about no Catholic Church either. See, the Nazis, that's where the Catholic Church came from. The Christian. And it said, Nazi writing flourished among certain Christian groups in the Mediterranean world until about the second century when the fathers of the early church denounced them as heresy. Efforts to destroy these texts proved large success, resulting in the survival of very little writing by Gnostic theologians. Nonetheless, early Gnostic teachers such as Valentinus saw their beliefs as aligned with Christianity. They said that uh, in the Gnostic Christian tradition, Christ is seen as a divine being which has taken human form in order to lead humanity back to the light. However, Gnosis is not a single standardized system. See? Say that again. Gnosticism is not a single standardized system and the emphasis on direct experience allows for a wide variety of teachings including distinct currents such as Valentinism and Sethianism in the Persian Empire Gnostic ideas spread as far as China via the related movement. Vernacularism, while many of them are still alive in Iraq. So, 
You don't even have a standardized system. You don't know what you're talking about. They don't get to fighting with each other. The origins. The origins of Gnosticism are obscure and still disputed. 